So hi guys, welcome back to another Project Win video. Today we're somewhere very special. So today we're at Walton Heath Golf Course. We're playing the new course. So they've got the new and the old here. They played a bit of a mixture when we did the British Masters here. So it'll be nice to have a little look round, have a look at the, the scenery, but look at this. It looks absolutely stunning. Hopefully the weather will hold. Got the boys with us. So we've got Matt, Wave and Ben out for a jolly. We're actually playing at Sunningdale tomorrow. So a bit of a warm up, we're being a bit sneaky really, having a bit of a warm up. So let's see what the new has in store. Okay guys, so what are we four holes in? Yeah. What, what do you think to the golf course, Ben? Because um, you're yeah. a little bit angry. I'm a little bit angry, yeah. I'm not in the golf ball very well. The golf course is lovely. Just um, speed me up. Don't go in the heather. Okay, don't go in the heather. That's a hat. What do we think to the golf course, Matthew? Yeah, that's right. So you've played the old, haven't you? I have played the old. How does this compare to the old? Um, Very different or not fairly, really, fairly similar? Fairly similar. Fairly okay. similar. Yeah, last uh, time I played, last time I played it, it was burnt out and the yeah. heather wasn't blooming, so it wasn't quite as pretty as it is at the minute. But, but yeah, very, very similar. This is probably a little bit wider. Okay. So we're playing a par four. It's pretty long. The boys have let me go first off the tee, and um, well, I've run out of room down this left-hand side. And the boys have hit two fantastic tee shots. Ben's down the right there, Matt's down the left. So, see if I can get it out of the heather. Guinea pig. I went first, I did not. Never mind. It's now sunny. It wasn't a minute ago. It's just absolutely teamed it down with rain. So, uh, we hid behind our golf bags for a bit. So, let's get on with this. That heather looks thick. Well, from 75 yards, that's a bit of a wide. So, so far today, played okay. So still sort of feeling myself back into to playing a bit more. So not played loads and practiced a little bit since coming back from holiday. Um, so yeah, it's feeling okay without feeling brilliant. Just trying to look like Ben's just playing a bunker shot. He didn't look very happy with that. So this course is lovely. It's in great condition. Just had some work done on the greens, so they're probably a little bit sandier than, than they would like them to be, but they're still running pretty true. They're very receptive when to play into them. Just, whoop. Try not to let me trolley fall over. So, um, but yeah, it's okay. This course is lovely though. Look how open it is. Really, really lovely. The heather in bloom looks beautiful. So we'll keep going, keep you updated. What does everybody think of that hat? Okay guys, so front nine complete and I think we'll all agree that the heather is not the place to play from. Agreed? Savage doesn't even start to cover it. But guys, I've got a little bit of a question for you today. So, short game. Are we of the opinion of one club to do everything? Multiple clubs? What are we thinking? What are the thoughts? Uh, for me, uh, multiple clubs. Why is that? Because it depends on different lies and different situations you've got in front of you. Okay. Um, if I've got a long chip and run, I'll probably take a eight or a nine iron. If it's sort of over 20 odd yards. Yeah. Anything short of that, I use my 52. Okay. If going up and over anything, I'm use my 58. And you've got those clubs pre-selected, so you yeah. have sort of a, an idea of like what heights you want to hit it, yeah, and yeah. you've got like clubs to to hit those heights. Yeah. 
So you don't really swap and change too much. You wouldn't go like fives and. No, no, no. You would stick to those stick sort to of those three, three, three brackets. Yeah, yeah, I tend to. Okay, Matt, what are you thinking? So you've just had a, a recent change uh, in this yeah, department. I'm kind of in the middle. So I was always multiple with one. I've kind of, kind of gone to. No, hang on. I was multiple clubs. Now I'm kind of one club for. For everything. For everything. Okay, and the reasons behind that? If you hit loads of good shots with one club, those memories stick. Yeah. Whereas you could hit occasional good shots with multiple clubs and you can't know how one club is going to react more consistently. Okay, but it obviously makes, you have to then vary your practice, I would have said, quite a lot. To now, hear. to be able to get that, that in there? Would yeah, that, so it's knowing right? how the ball is going to react to either those bumps and runs, if you can. Um, how it's going to come out high, controlling the flight, those yeah. kinds of things. So you're you're thinking sort of one one wedge. I would have said yeah. fifty. So I've been I've previously been using sixty for everything. Okay. Um, kind of in the middle. My short game is not the best at the minute, so I'm just trying to find something that will work. So sixty is normally for everything. Very good. Okay. So that's that's two single figure golfers there, guys, and two very different looks at it. Um, for me, I would have. A wedge that I'm very very happy with for me that's 52 I would go default to 52 quite a lot but I wouldn't rely on it to do everything I I see where Matt's coming from with the whole have one club have lots of good memories but then you have to be able to be very versatile moving it back and forwards within the stance and playing a lot of different shots with that one club I'm more with Ben um, I would have flights in my head so I always teach personally putt it if you can putt it low a medium and a high so now I don't mind what you play those with but we need to pre-select which club you're going to be able to use for those heights whether it's it might be 58 and just 52 but you've got to be able to, to distinguish between those three heights for me but we'll have a little look at some short game stuff as we go around but we just got to play this beautiful little par three little and uh, I think it's me to go first because I managed to fluke a birdie there. Right, see you in a sec. Played it perfect. Checked out. Stop short. Love golf. in just a little bit. Yeah. I'll show you. Me and Ben aren't moving. <laughs> I'm not moving from here. I'm so ready to go. Oh my God. Listen. Listen to the noise. So guys, we've played Wolds and Heath new course today. It has been fantastic. It has thrown it down, as you can see, a few times on the way around, but this place is stunning. If you haven't played here and you get the chance, get down here, we've got the old and the new. The sun's coming out now, so we're all good. But guys, seriously, in terms of the short game, it's a very personal thing. You've got two single figure golfers doing it two different ways. It's finding a way that suits you best. So if it's one wedge going at it with 60 all the time like Matt does, or whether it's trying to find three different clubs that hit it at three different heights, like I do and Ben does, then, then maybe that's something to have a look at. But what we're looking at is going to test these skills out, putting yourself under pressure, see what you're good at, see what you're not good at. Shane Lowry chips with one wedge and he's very, very good at it, but you've got to put in the time and the effort. Whichever way you're gonna do it, you've got to put the time and effort in to get good at that technique, at that way of doing it, so that when you're challenged with all these shots on the course, then you can pull them off and you've got the confidence to. Okay, so a few more shots on the way around. We'll see you a bit later on. Simon's turning up. We've got Stanleydale tomorrow, but we've got to try and hold some putts. It hasn't been good. I was too worried about getting wet a minute ago to hit a good goal shot, so I've just made double down the last. But try and get it back now. Right, try and hold this. Let's go. Okay, guys, so I did hold the putt, but then the GoPro died on me. So no more footage from this round, unfortunately. Sorry about that. We've got a little bit more golf to play, so stay tuned for Sunningdale, both me and Simon in the same group, 
if you have the chance, go and play Walton Heath, both the new and the old, great courses, and a really warm welcome from everybody at the club. We'll see you again soon, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you.